Hi everyone, it's Rachel back with the Shades of Orange and today I'm here to do another recommendation video. This time I'm talking about artificial intelligence sci-fi books. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you probably know it's one of my favorite tropes or subgenres. And I just cannot get enough of these stories. I've actually done a video like this before, so I'm gonna link that down below and in the cards. So this video is gonna be even more recommendations because I keep reading these books. So if that sounds good, hopefully you stick around. Let's get started. First, I want to talk about An Unnatural Life by Aaron K. Wagner. This is a sci-fi novella that takes place on a future colony where artificial intelligence have just gotten their own legal rights. And right after this happens, one robot is accused of murdering a human. The story is told from the perspective of an AI who comes to visit him and ends up trying to defend him. And the story goes from there as he perhaps is innocent and perhaps is not. Now, this book is very serious in tone. Unlike a lot of the other books I'm going to talk about on this list, this one is definitely not that cute, lighthearted story about a little funky AI companion, but instead, it definitely goes to some very serious places. This book is often compared to To Kill a Mockingbird, to give you an idea of that, and it definitely deals with some very serious concepts and it goes to some dark places. I really enjoyed the legal aspects to this book and of course the conversations about personhood and just the legal rights as they would be extrapolated to artificial intelligence and kind of go over some of the challenges that would arise from that. So if that sounds good, highly recommend it. I thought it was very well done, just a very dark story, very depressing for lack of a better word, but absolutely worthwhile. Next up, I do have to mention All Systems Red by Martha Wells, which follows a non-binary artificial construct that is working as a security guard, but really they would rather just hack their own programming and watch Netflix and other streaming shows all day long. This is the first in a highly popular series called The Murderbot Diaries, and it's popular on booktube for a reason, and I think that's the fact that the main character is just so relatable. I will say compared to some of the other their artificial intelligence stories. This AI is much more human-like because of their quirks, but I think it's a lot of fun. It's a very unique narrative, and while this one is technically not a personal favorite of mine, I do really appreciate it, and I know it is so beloved, so if you haven't tried it out, if you like AI stories, I definitely think you should give this series a shot. Next, I want to talk about A Closed and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers. It's technically the second book in her Wayfarer series, but it is a standalone or companion novel, so you could pick it up here, although it will slightly spoil some of the events at the end of the first book, A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. But this is my personal favorite of the entire companion series, and I want to recommend it here because it has a very strong artificial intelligence character at the center of the story. The other books definitely have some AI in the background, but this one is really front and center. I can't give away too much without spoiling the previous book in terms of the setup, but basically we are following an artificial intelligence character who teams up with an engineer named Pepper, and together they are just living their lives. Compared to the previous book, this one actually has a lot more plot and narrative drive, which is why I liked a lot more, and it's also a lot darker. Certainly it still has Becky Chambers' iconic, optimistic view of the future, but compared Compared to the other books, this one delves into some darker places. The one character has a history of growing up as a slave, and this book really deals with the idea of being a free person and the idea of found families, and I just really loved it. So if that sounds good and you haven't checked it out, highly recommend this one as well. Next, I want to talk about Day Zero by C. Robert Cargill, and this is a sci-fi novella set in a future where it is very common to have AI running about, and the story is told from the perspective of an artificial intelligence nanny bot. So this creature is in the body of what perceives to be a furry animal, and they are tasked with taking care of and providing companionship 
for a young boy. At the beginning of the story, there is a robotic uprising. And so this nanny bot has to decide whether or not to follow their programming and protect this child, or if they should go along with the other robots and get their freedom. This is a story that is very emotional and it's definitely very much about the friendship between this boy and this robot, but it also deals a lot with the ideas of robotics that were introduced by Isaac Asimov in his iconic work, iRobot, which I recommended in my previous video. So I definitely think you'll get a lot out of this book if you have already read iRobot, but you certainly could go into this one first and still very much enjoy it. Lots of good conversations, again, about freedom and what that means. And the question of whether or not a robot can truly feel something, can they actually have a real friendship or are they simply just following what their code has told them to do? I absolutely love this one. It is so heartfelt. The characters are so well developed and I definitely think more people should be checking it out. Next, I wanna briefly mention a graphic novel that I think is a little underhyped, and that is The Kill Lock. And this follows four criminal robots that are tied together, and if one of them dies, the other ones will die as well. And it basically follows them as they are trying to live out their punishment. You get, of course, a lot of interactions between them as they are trying to get along, and they don't necessarily like each other. They're not necessarily nice robots. The artwork is absolutely stunning. Stunning. It is really breathtaking. And again, I just think this one is a little bit more of a hidden gem. So if you're really into sci-fi graphic novels and into AI, this is probably one you want to try out for yourself. Next up, I want to talk about Claire and the Sun, which is a story told from the perspective of a companion doll who is picked up and purchased by a young girl. And the story goes from there. This is much more of a slower literary piece of science fiction where it is really more about the characters than the plot. So there isn't a lot of action here. Instead, it's very much about seeing the world from the perspective perspective of this AI and getting to see everything through her lens is really interesting because she makes a lot of commentary on humanity, on their interactions, different relationships that are very on point and uncanny and I think that is just a really fun way to talk about again humanity from the perspective of an outsider and this book is just very well written and again it was not fast paced. It was very slow going, but at the same time, I just drank in every chapter and really enjoyed the experience. So if you're looking for something that is a little bit more on the literary side of things, I don't think you can go wrong with Claire and the Sun. Definitely another favorite of mine. From here, I want to briefly talk about a short story collection. I don't read a lot of short stories when it comes to sci-fi, but this one really grabbed my attention. The collection is Made to Order, which is edited by Jonathan Strathan, and it is all about rebellion and robots. As always with every collection, some of the stories worked better than others, but some of my favorites included a story that was very similar to an episode of Black Mirror, where essentially, everyone's social media is scalped online and that information is used to create these artificial intelligence personas of them and it allows people to possibly get to know celebrities or also interact with dead relatives and I really like the concept there. There was also another story read or written by Ken Liu and it involved a legal case surrounding an artificial intelligence and I love that one quite a bit. So if that sounds up your alley, if you like short fiction, this is definitely a great one to try out for yourself. Now to go in a totally different direction, I also want to recommend The AI Who Loved Me by Alyssa Cole. And this is a science fiction romance that is about a young woman who ends up interacting and falling in love with her neighbor who is possibly an AI. And while this is technically science fiction because it is set in a future where AI exists, this book is much more heavily focused on the romance. So you have to go in knowing that if you don't like romance, this one won't be for you. The sci-fi elements again are pretty light. There's driving cars and some other futuristic technology, but it's really in the background of the story. And I would say compared to some of 
Alyssa Cole's other work. I don't feel like the relationship or the romance was as well developed. And personally, I do prefer a lot more passion. This one is just kind of cute, but I don't think it's the best representation of her work. But if you want some romance with some AI, this might fit the bill. So, you know, decide for yourself if that's up your alley. And last, I want to briefly talk about Soft Science by Franny Chow. And this is a sci-fi poetry collection that is all about queer artificial intelligence. And I gotta say, I'm not normally a poetry reader, but the concept behind this whole collection just was so interesting. A lot of the poetry revolves around the concept of the Turing test. And I thought it was very readable, again, for someone who doesn't read a lot of poetry. It wasn't so flowery that I couldn't follow it and I just think the prose was really well done and it was just so unique. So if you're looking for something out of the box, if you have read all of the classic artificial intelligence stories and are looking for more, maybe consider picking up some AI poetry because that exists, which is amazing. So that's it for this video here. I would love to hear down below if you're planning on checking out any of the books I talked about and don't forget to also check out my previous video if you missed it, which again will be linked in the cards and description box. If you're new to my channel and enjoy AI stories as much as I do, consider subscribing. I do read a lot of sci-fi as well as fantasy, horror, and thrillers. Let me know what your favorite AI story is, and you can help me out by sharing this video around online, giving it a thumbs up, and if you hit that little notification bell, you'll never miss a video from me. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.